Water. Earth. Fire. Air. Welcome back to another video. This is officially part 4 out of 5 uh, of the Avatar series. There is a playlist of this, so please check out all the other ones. Or all the other videos. Um, but this video may have come out a little bit uh, later than I wanted it to because my internet has been acting up recently. As well as you can see, I'm actually recording this while on the internet. This is why I'm wearing an Alex skin right now. But this is the air element, which is pretty sick. And uh, yeah. I do hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please join my Discord link in the description. And if you don't really want to see me showing all the abilities one by one, please just skip till the fighting a scene where I will be fighting against some Ravagers with all the air abilities. But yeah, the air element has uh, some passive uh, fall damage or like no fall damage, I mean. So yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty sick. So now let me just showcase the first ability, which is called Air Gust. And for this, I'm just gonna summon in uh, a villager real quick. As you can see here, this is kind of like a spam ability with low damage and all that. And as you can see, when it interacts with an entity, it makes this little cool particle. As you can see there, as I like kind of punched it. It also does the same particle when it hits, for example, a wall. As you can see right there. And also when it kind of just evaporates into the distance, it'll make a little cool particle there, as you can see. And for the animation, it's a little cool punching animation. I missed them. Uh, look at the side view. Pretty nice. It's a pretty cool um, ability, in my opinion. Next up is Airblade, and basically when this interacts with the Entity, it's going to fly up into the air, as you can see right now. And there's a lot of damage, as you can see right there. And also when this, for example, hits a wall, it will make this little cool exploding thing, as you can see right there, which is very sick. And as, as I've said, this does a lot of damage. If I were to get a little side view of this, I missed. But you see the little cool um, animation it has there. Which is very sick in my opinion. And yeah, let's summon another yeah. villager here. Next, next up is called Air Burst. Basically, it's going to launch me into the air. And when I hit the ground, it's going to like make all entities kind of fly away, as you can see right there. It's kind of lagging right now, but I will show a clip here of when it wasn't lagging as much. But yeah, that's a pretty cool ability. Uh, next up we have is called Air Jab. Basically, when this hits an entity, I think you can really see it there, but when it hits an entity, it's going to push them way back. So let me summon a new one here. Let's just wait for this cooldown to go down, you know? But basically, it has a cool animation, and when it hits an entity, it's going to get flung backwards. It's pretty cool. So let's uh, wait for this guy here. As you can see right there, it hit him, made this little cool particle there, and it punched him all the way back. Let's just showcase a little cool um, animation it does when it does when you activate it, you know? So now I've got to wait a few seconds here, you know. But we got, just got to live with it. Um, and boom, pretty nice. And also when it hits the wall, it makes this cool uh, interaction particle. But I'll, I'll get back to that when this cooldown is over. I'll be showcasing the air tornado whilst we're waiting. Basically, this is some three tornadoes. We're just going to put them on a little trip, as you can see here. And we'll kind of just pull them all the way far, as you can see right there, which is pretty cool. And let's get back to air jab. When I hit a wall, it will make a cool little particle, as you can see right there. But now we're at the air tornado, as I've said. Let's just showcase um, the cool the cool uh, uh, animation I make when I use it. See right there, pretty cool. This is going to take anything on a trip, and of course, as I said multiple times, this is multiplayer friendly, so if I were to use this ability against another airbender, it would actually damage them and put them on a little trip, you know, all the way. You know. That's a pretty sick one. Next up we have is called Air Suction. This is basically just to get into these closer to yourself, as you can see right there. And that's that. Well, quite simply, let's get a little third person view of this as well. Can you stand still, please, uh, villager? Oh, I missed. He moved. He's moving a lot. Next up is called Air Bullets. Uh, this kind of just puts them on a... Like, it just drags them away, kind of, you know? As you can see right there. 
shoots out a few particles or projectiles, I mean, and just drags them away. And also, this also makes uh, quite a cool interaction particle when it hits, for example, a wall, as I'll be showcasing right here. Uh, let's just wait for this cooldown. As you can see right there, pretty nice. And also, as well as that, let's showcase the animation it does for the player when you actually use it. And I just gotta wait a few seconds, but it should be all good. Let's just wait a little bit. As you can see right here, cool little particle. Or particle? I mean, uh, animation. Next up is called Air Evasion, and for this occasion, I made this little parkour uh, track for the ability. It's quite similar to the um, fire ability where you kind of move around, but it's a lower cooldown and goes uh, more forwards, you know? So let's just use this. Oh, I overshot that by a mile, okay. Oh, okay, I'm actually doing this way too. Oh my god, I'm struggling. Okay, let me just start from here. <laughs> I try one more time. I'm actually struggling right now. I've gotten this like first try before, but now I'm struggling. Okay, yeah, just to say I made that, bro. I'm struggling. There you go. Woo! Pretty nice, but like it's a cool ability, you know. As you see, that makes a little cool particle behind you as well. Pretty nice. But yeah, now let's get straight into the fighting. Now we're ready for a fight. I don't know why I'm low, but I'm a little bit low here. It should, should be all good. Let's just fight these guys. Use this ability right here. Let's get this guy a little closer. Oh no, that's the wrong ability, but yeah, it works. I can actually drag this tornado closer to me as well. Punch him away. Yep. Air bursts. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nice, nice, nice. Go up in the air. Look at this. Air evasion. Bullets. Look at that, bro. I'm actually destroying this guy. Pull him close. Put him in a tornado. Oh, ho. Okay, I'm actually destroying this guy. Oh, I actually got him. <laughs> you okay? Come over here, bro. I put him in a wall, bro. Okay. Come closer, come closer. Usually doesn't do that, but like, you know, not all mods can be perfect. Uh, let's get this guy. This is like, this is like one in the, like a little location where it kind of goes into the diagonal wall, which is kind of, you know, a little funny. Go back. Oh. Up in there, please. Bro, what is this guy doing? He's running the wrong way. Okay, yeah. There. Oh no! Why did I do that, bro? I used I was gonna use this ability to push him away, but I didn't use it in time. I'm getting closer. Jab him away. Use this. Just get a little. And then he's dead. Look at this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! I thought he was dead. Okay. He's almost dead, though. Now he's dead. He can't survive that. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I thought I thought I killed him, but uh, yeah, it was a little premature. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. Please stay tuned to the fifth and final part, which is going to be the next video I upload. And basically, what that's going to be about is the sub elements, as well as uh, how some elements interact with each other. For example, water and fire, or air and fire, or earth and fire, and all the you know. How they kind of interact with each other, which is pretty sick. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please uh, subscribe and hit the like button and join my Discord link in the description. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.